Zorin OS, a perfect Linux distro for Windows user. Hi guys, this is Jarvis and today I will walk you through on how to dual boot Zorin OS with Windows 11. Dual boot allows us to have both operating system on one computer and it's easier than what you think. So why Zorin OS? Zorin OS offers a sleek and intuitive interface making it a perfect choice for those who are new to Linux. Uh, Zorin OS is also compatible with a vast array of software, a bunch of customization and much more. Uh, and it also comes with a wide range of pre-installed software including productivity tools, multimedia application and many more. So uh, let's dive in without wasting more time. Let me show you the specs of my PC. Uh, so guys as you can see I am currently running on Windows 11 and uh, my machine is based on Intel i3 8 gen processor uh, with 8GB RAM and 128GB of SSD. If you uh, but don't worry if your system has low specification dual boot can work on your system too. So what's the requirement for the dual booting? First uh, is the Rufus. Uh, it's a user friendly software that will help us to create a bootable USB drive with the Zorin OS and you can download it from the description link. Another is Zorin OS. I use a file you can download the latest version of Zorin OS from the official website and I will pro provide it in the description box. Uh, as you can see I have already downloaded uh, it's about 2.8 GB. Now let's take a quick look at our disk management uh, and the available free space to install Zorin OS. So let me open my disk management and here as you can see here is my disk management utility and I have Windows 11 installed display along with the partition. It is essential to have free space on your disk to accommodate Zorin OS. Ideally aim for at least 20 GB to 30 GB of free space but the more the better. In my case I have open 100 GB of unallocated space which is more enough to install Zorin OS. And uh, now. Uh, uh, we are ready to move forward with the installation of Zorin OS. So guys, I have already downloaded Troopers and installed it on my computer. Now I'm gonna open it. And here you need to select your pen drive. And guys, make sure you have at least 8GB of pen drive. Now here you need to select your uh, ISO file. And here, uh, ISO file is selected. Don't do anything here. Just click on start button. And click on OK. And guys, it will uh, format your pen drive and uh, guys uh, it will take approx 5 to 6 minutes uh, so i'm gonna fast forward the video to make it short a few moments later so our pen drive has been successfully transformed into a bootable device using rufus now let's check it out in file manager uh, let me open my file manager and here as you can see device name or pen drive name is changed to Zorin OS indicating that uh, we are ready to installation for the Zorin OS and, and these are the files which are required to install uh, Zorin OS. Now it's time to restart the computer uh, so let me click on restart to restart my computer. So as the computer restart pay close attention to the screen uh, you have to boot your device into the boot menu different manufacturer had different key so in my case it's f12 so i'm gonna press repeatedly uh, as the computer start up to access the boot menu now my device is now boots up into the boot menu here you need to select your pen drive and hit enter it will take you to the installation process so here uh, as you can see the multiple options try and install save graphics nvidia um, now i am gonna press on try and install zorin os and guys it will take time so i am gonna fast forward the video Now my system is now boots up into the Zorin OS, it's time to install it. First you need to select your language and keyboard and here you, you can select any option you want. I'm gonna select uh, install third party software and click on continue. 
now guys this is the crystal strap in the installation of Zorin OS uh, here you have you can see various options to install Zorin OS we will focus on something else option which allow us to install Zorin OS alongside Windows 11 and give us more control over the partitioning process so I'm gonna click on continue now as you can see we have the disk partitioning screen in front of us uh, locate to the uh, unallocated space or any unused partition that you want to allocate for Zorin OS uh, so uh, I'm gonna select for here is my free space which is about 100 GB now guys uh, first uh, you need to clip click on plus option and here we, we need to create a partition which is for EFI partition typically it is about 200 MB in size and it is used to store the boot file and configuration data for the operating system it play a crucial role in the role of system boot process and here you need to select uh, EFI system partitioning and click on OK and it will create a partition for EFI as you can see our partition is now created now it's time to create uh, to the next partition which is swap partition guys swap partition is used by the operating system to temporarily store data when the RAM is full so let's create a swap partition uh, here I am gonna create uh, for 1 GB uh, this uh, should be sufficient for the most system but you can adjust the size based on your specific requirement and here you need to select swap and click on ok uh, it will create a swap partition now we have created EFI and swap partition it's time to move to the final partition which is the root partition and guys in root, root partition is the place where the core operating system files and the user data will be stored let's allocate the a remaining free space for the root partition and here you need to select uh, ext ex2 ex2 file system and here you need to select the root and click on ok excellent we have successfully created the root partition providing the dedicated space for the Zorin OS to recite uh, now um, guys in the bootloader installation configuration you need you will see a drop down or a list of devices where the bootloader can be installed uh, you need to select your uh, select your disk where you have installed Zorin OS uh, in my case it's NVMe SSD and now uh, it's time to click on install now so let me click on install now Now here you can review a partition for swap ext2 and boot partition and click on continue and guys uh, it will take you to select the region so let me wait for it so guys here you need to select your region uh, I'm gonna select my country Kolkata and click on continue now guys after selecting your region you will be prompt to set a password for the Zorin OS user account choose a password that you will easily remember uh, now that you have selected your region and password, region and password uh, it's time to sit back relax and let the Zorin OS installation process to do its magic enjoy a cup of coffee or engage in another activity as it will take approx 6 to 8 minutes so I'm gonna fast forward it So congratulations on the completing uh, the Zorin OS installation and now guys uh, I'm gonna click on uh, continue testing cause I need to save uh, my video and then I'm gonna restart my computer to see uh, the Dolby power uh, with the Zorin OS bootloader and now let me show you the first setting and here as you can see the device name is Zorin and OS name is Zorin OS 16.2 and OS type is 64-bit 
now it's time to restart the computer uh, before we proceed with the restart let's make sure that zorin os boot entry is set as a priority in the bios this will ensure that the computer boots up into the zorin os by default when starting up to access the bios restart your computer and press the designated key the key to access uh, bios can vary depending on the computer in my case is it's a f2 uh, so uh, uh, let me boot my computer into the bios and let me wait for it So as you can see my device is now boots up into the BIOS. Now navigate to the boot or boot order section. Here you will see a list of boot devices or boot entries. Find the Zorin OS and uh, if it's not already on top select it and uh, move it to the top. In my case it's already on top so I'm gonna restart my computer. So as you can see my device is uh, already boots up into the Zorin OS and now uh, let me uh, run on Zorin OS and hit enter and it will boot the device into the Zorin OS. Uh, so let's wait. So guys, as you can see, my device is now boots up into the Zorin OS and here is the intro screen. Uh, let me click on no thanks. And here you can see the multiple options like you can choose your desktop appearance uh, and much more. And now uh, let me boot the device into the windows. Uh, first I need to uh, restart my computer. So I am gonna restart it. Uh, now uh, it will take me to the uh, uh, bootloader for the Zorin OS and here and now we, as you can see the multiple boot entries uh, now it's time to boot the device into the windows by uh, uh, by hit enter on the windows boot manager option so let me click on enter and now guys it will boot the device into the windows uh, so let's wait so guys yes congratulations uh, we have successfully uh, dual boot Zorin OS with Windows 11. Uh, guys, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching Tech Jarvis.